Hello, my name is Chitwa Nimwari. I am a grade 12 learner from Patrick Ramanda Secondary School. With me today, I have my colleagues who are also grade 12 learners at this school. This is Matamera Linki and he is Nemuko Tanyani. We also have our physical science teacher, our supervisor, Mr. Nemurenga. Today we are going to be investigating the effects of temperature on equilibrium. We prepared nitrogen dioxide in this flux and we used copper filings, nitric acid to prepare this gas. But before we prepare nitrogen dioxide, we ensure that we take precautionary measures into place by wearing our gloves, our safety goggles, and our mask because nitrogen dioxide is a very irritative gas. So what we are going to be using today to investigate, we are going to be using a cold water bath with ice and we are also going to be using a hot water bath in this jar. So before we proceed, let's look at the, at the balanced chemical uh, equation. As you can see that the delta H is less than zero, we know that the forward reaction is exothermic and the reverse reaction is endothermic. This is going to be very important information while we investigate this temperature change in equilibrium. First, we are going to be putting the flask in the cold water bath and mix stirring around it. The stirring action is to ensure that there is even distribution of temperature. The observation we get after removing the flask from the bath is that the gas changed from dark brown to light brown, which shows that since temperature decrease favors the exothermic reaction, it means that the concentration in M2O4 was increased, which is light brown. Now for our second observation, we are going to be putting the flask in the hot water bath. We observe the dark brown color, which means that the endothermic reaction was favored since temperature increase uh, shifts equilibrium to the left, which means that the reverse reaction was favored. So, concentration of nitrogen dioxide increased, which means that nitrogen dioxide is dark brown. We're going to repeat the same procedure for the second time just to increase validity of the results. We're going to be putting the flask again into the cold water bath. Again, we observe the same results, which is a color change from dark brown to a more light brown. Again, we're going to be putting the flask into the hot water bath. Now we observe the dark brown again, which tells us that temperature increase favors the endothermic reaction, which in this instant was the reverse reaction. And temperature decrease favors the exothermic reaction, which in this case was the forward reaction. This marks the conclusion of our investigation. We hope that you have enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you.